Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie! Uh, last time we did Clanker's Cavern and so far it's been a matter of getting basically one place done in one part. Uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp is probably going to uh, be the beginning of this exception. It's it's about as big as Clanker's Cavern, but everything is far more spread out. Whereas Clanker's Cavern was very condensed. Uh, lots of the Jiggies here have multiple things, and I'm not even going to be able to do all this in one go anyway. So, Bubble Gloop Swamp, well, as the name would imply, is a swamp level. And our move in question is right here. And this, unlike uh, other things so far, is a collectible item. A consumable, temporary power-up, if you will. Uh, the waiting boots just keep you safe in treacherous areas. Basically, uh, almost every place from here on out is going to have some form of treacherous floor or area. In this case, there's piranhas that inhabit the water. So that's what the waiting boots are for. And there's a mumbo token behind there. And I know that lots of Let's Players like Josh Jepson and Antetica Barisan have a habit of calling these things Ikumbokos. Now despite the fact that I did during my childhood, my I'm going to attempt to not do so out of respect for them. So we got an Ikumboko. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, most of the notes throughout this level are, uh, they're spread around, uh, basically in clumps of threes, usually. And the C, well, I'm going to take care of this first. I'm going to go up here, take care of everything I need to up here, not go out of my way, because what that is, is a switch that activates a timed puzzle, so to speak. And I believe there's five Croctus, or Crocti, or whatever, who cares, uh, spread throughout this level. I'm not going to go out of my way to collect any of this crap while I'm actually doing the timed puzzle. So, yeah, we got another Ian <laughs> Another Jinjo. Uh, this place isn't quite as spread out as I had remembered. Uh, or at least maybe it, I don't think it is. Anywho! And if this is done, I'm gonna try this puzzle. The emphasis on try! I think it's like 30 seconds or something. 45 seconds? Uh, that's... that's actually not that bad. I, I could swear it was something far worse, like 30 seconds. 45 is certainly lenient as hell. Ah! Except when the camera decides to screw me like that! Okay. Uh, okay, I guess this is a boss fight, if you will. Come on. Screw you! We'll do it the easy way! There's a couple of fights like this throughout the game. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, enough. With the clusterfuck of music. There were two songs going on at once. The Wonder Wing and the... Whatever the hell you want to call it. The boss theme. Uh, this game, uh, some people consider them bosses, but I don't consider this game to have any but one boss. Uh, just because they're way too easy, way too simple. There's no overarching strategy, uh, unlike Banjo-Tooie in Donkey Kong 64. Anyways, see if I can get as much of a head start as I can. Erg! I am not amused! I'll give it one more try! Ugh. <sighs> That's the problem, man. You keep trying to take it the easy way, the quick way. 
using the stupid freaking talent try! Can you even climb up this normally? Yeah, I didn't think so. Might as well do something with this time. Yes, yes. <laughs> Every now and then, when you have a timed puzzle like this, Grunty will laugh it up as you fail. So try not to fail. Try not to be like me. I guess it also doesn't help that this freaking camera is unruly as hell sometimes. I mean, I'm holding the R button to try and keep it centered around me as much as possible, but it's not that simple. It'll turn whenever it feels like sometimes, despite holding down the R button. See, I didn't even need the talent trot. What the hell am I trying to do? And there we go! Third time's the charm. Yeah. But as I said, I'm definitely going to have to split this into two parts. Um, it's a pretty big area. And I sort of want to not clump it all into one video. I mean, I, I'm trying to take advantage of the ability of the YouTube time limit, which is no time limit. Just because I want to enjoy the game in something bigger than 10 minute chunks. But that being said, I don't need the extra life. I think I have... Oh, wow. Continuing the game erases your life count. Whatever. I... Whatever. <laughs> three! Three jiggies! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. And are there notes up here? Nope, just another you can book them. Sir, where to go next? I think I'll go... Uh, I think my main area or way of getting around here is going to be... Uh, getting the Croctus is taken care of, so I'm not repeating areas, even though I probably just did with that egg area. I don't remember if there is a Croctus there or not. This is to get you, I guess, more familiar with the Shock Jump Pad, and a Grunty Switch! And notes. Bye bye hat. What do you call that anyway? What kind of hat is that technically called? They can't seriously call that a witch's hat. I don't know. There's got to be like a technical term for it. Oh. Croctus. Yummy! Eat! Eat! Another Ikumbokum. Come on. Oh, what are you doing, you fool? Yo, no, no! You fool! Uh. No! You stupid... Scumbag Banjo! Bubble Fail Swamp is what I like to call this. For one reason or another, I start failing when I get to this point in the game. Clinker's Cavern, yeah, it's a smooth ride there. But everything else? Ugh. Anyways, there's obviously a Jiggy up top. But um, but um, bum. Okay, yeah, I was right. Oh, don't! Uh, whatever. If I get safely below, I guess I don't really give a damn. Okay. I guess the next Croctus is in the Crocodile area. Now, I know 
Jumanji tried to explain the difference between an alligator and a crocodile, but would uh, a viewer like to please explain it to me? I seriously can't tell the difference between the two. Besides that alligators don't have a sort of French handling, or whatever the hell Robin Williams said. And the other one is in the turtle area. Bubble Gloop Swamp. How you and I have such a very long and hateful history. And for God's sake, this is the problem with attacking in the third dimension. Uh, I'll worry about those notes later because there is no waiting boots. I mean, I could use the Wonder Wing. In fact, uh, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Except it does. I just need to keep my gold feathers. Because you never know when you might need to use the Wonder Wing. And if you use it needlessly like this, I mean, I'll be able to get those notes without getting hurt later, despite the fact that I won't have waiting boots. Or shadowing. Anyways. Um. Yeah, it's. It's really not as big a level as I remembered. Clanker's Cavern is actually bigger, but everything's just a little more complicated in this level. Oh yes, this is Tank Tough, I think his name is. Ah, oh, who cares. Anyways, he's got cold feet, so you must warm those cold feet. I, I love that sound effect. I mean, I, I, everybody loves that sound effect. Oh! We're supposed to help him, not hurt him. Anyways, we're halfway done. And it's my recollection that the tenth jiggy is not really obtainable. I mean, it may be, but if it is, it's really close. You stupid animation. Anyways, another Jiggy! Are you getting tired of this yet? I know I am. Oh, I really don't want to have to go in here. But I shall. Okay. So inside of Tank Tup, that's a very familiar name, by the way, and for a reason. Who should it be? It's Tip Tup from Diddy Kong Racing! The famous Tip Tup Choir. Well, now, I think this is the only time that Tip Tup appears. Maybe he appeared in Conquer, uh, but I never played that game. Purple, pink, yellow! This is a memory game. Purple, pink, and yellow. No, I haven't forgotten. I just want this very conveniently placed honeycomb. Purple. Pink. Yellow. I haven't forgotten. Uh, erg. Purple. Pink. Yellow. And an Ikambokum. I've gotten quite a few of those in this level. Some notes. And now it's time to start playing some notes. Purple! Pink! Yellow! Lesson 2. Why parents hate their children. Sky blue! Red! Sky blue! Yellow! Purple! Sky blue, red, sky blue, yellow, purple. Uh, I always suck with memory games, so I'm sure I'll screw up somewhere. One more lesson. And it is red, purple, red, pink, yellow, 
Sky blue! Purple! I'm so screwed! Purple! Uh, wrong. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, great and mighty tipped up. Remind me. Yes. Red! Purple! Red! Pink! Yellow! Sky blue! Purple! Red! Purple! Red! Pink! Yellow! Purple! What?! Uh... Sky blue? There we go. Then purple. Then purple. Oh, I, I, I missed one step. And there we go! A true masterpiece! Take this trinket I found. Where'd you find it? And couldn't you have just given it to me? Come on, Tipped Up. We're pals from Diddy Kong Racing, remember? Ah, uh, whatever. Um... Trying to remember what else. I still have quite a few notes left to get. Um... Oh, okay. There are two Jiggies in the crocodile, and one Jiggy from the Jinjo. Okay, I got it. Uh... Now I guess straight to the crocodile, then. We're almost done. Just a little bit more to go. Hopefully I haven't missed any, uh... notes that are hidden up on one of these poles. I hate those things. I'd like to think that I haven't. We'll find out soon, won't we? Waiting boots! Guide me! Yes, there's only two forms of shoes in this game. Waiting boots being one of them, but Banjo Tooie introduces a whole lot of them. Kind of the, to the point of absurdity. Uh, what are they? The springy step shoes, the freaking sticky shoes, something like that. I don't really remember. Trying to avoid having to do repeat animations. Anyways. Another you can book him. Die. Come on. There we go. Ah, uh, Mumbo, we meet yet again. Erg. Sorry I woke you. Aha! I remembered there being something up here. And it, it's just a, a side note, but it's kind of important. There's really only two extra honeycombs. I'm sorry, three extra honeycombs that you can get in this game. Uh, and... There are six others from the last three levels, but they don't give you an actual life expansion, so... Anyways, we have a crocodile! <laughs> yes, the thing about the crocodile is that... Oh, wait. Damn it. I forgot! There was more. Never mind. I thought there were two in the crocodile head, but I remembered there is a yet another time puzzle. Damn it. So we'll get back to the crocodile in a second. Blah, 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 blah. Humana! I think that's like the same sound effect as the whatever the hell it is from Crash Bandicoot. Sounds like it. Freaking tribal head, tiki head. I don't, I don't remember uh, that game very well. But it sounds very similar. 
Anyways, where one time puzzle was very, very, very lenient, we have another. This one sucks. This one sucks royally. And if I screwed up on the first one, oh god. How did I not screw up? I don't know. I'll just thank my lucky stars. Anyways. Um, I'm not gonna get that last one then. Well, can you do it? Maybe you can, I don't know. Now, I guess I could do this in one whole video then. Uh, in fact, it's going by relatively quickly, quicker than I thought it would. But, I have a pizza in the oven. And it's almost done. And I think, if for no other reason than my own hunger, because I haven't eaten anything today. You needed to know that. No, no you didn't. But anyways, uh, the thing about the crocodile is that it's the only transformation that can actually attack. Everything else cannot. That's not to say that it's the, not the only transformation with a special ability, besides just travel through here, here, and here. It has a purpose, but... Uh, I don't want to go into that nostril. I think you can do this without... I think the very first one that you actually cannot do without uh, going to the next level is Freeze Easy Peak. Oh, spoilers. Um, but I honestly can't think of what else. Jinjo! I don't think I'm missing any other notes. Uh, I think it's just the ones in the crockhead way. It can't seriously be all the notes. I must have missed something. The only reason that I'm saying that is because I hope to God that I didn't. If I didn't miss notes... Oh God. Bubble Gloop Swamp and I have a very... violent and sordid past together. So here's hoping that inside this crocodile head are the last notes. I know the last Jiggy is in it, but could the last notes be? Oh God, no. Um. Very Bokum. Five, five. Damn it! No. This is Mr. Vile. No. <laughs> um. I think I'm going to have to let you guys uh, go on this episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Kind of an anticlimactic way to stop, but I don't want the pizza to burn. So I'll be back in just a second. Have a good day, everybody!